Hello, audience. I am Cryoptic Voice. And welcome, finally, to a little game called Firewatch. Yay! I was supposed to play this instead of... Oh, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. <gasps> I see her. She's about your age, late twenties. Laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. We approach her. You are drunk. So what's your, you know, major? You you're pretty. I like that one. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Somebody should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Hooray! Me and Julia, we're in love. Ah, oh, it feels great. Oh, we're in. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta... Oh, maybe it's fine. Where am I? My backy pack. Hold on. Can I change the thing? No. All right. There's no sensitivity. Oh wait. Yes, there is. Wait. Controls. Jk. Okay. Whatever. We're in. We're doing. We're vibing. We're doing the do. Welcome to Firewatch. I played this game already. On my... My lonesome. But this is one of those games where it's so fantastic that... You just have to play it again. So this will be like my third time going through this game. Third or fourth. But I mean, who's complaining? What a game, bro. Also, my hatch is down. Date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd... Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. She loves the beagle, though. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Ah, the beagle named Bucket. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. I love him, too. My little boy. 1979. You walk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, man. Kids? <laughs> They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some couple little idiots, that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Propose! Here we are. The forest. Fire danger is maxed out today. That's not healthy. It's not good. It doesn't look that dry out. There's clouds in the sky. Thorough fair trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. No fireworks. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Two forks map. This game not only is like visually amazing, but 
I really, really love the story. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by- Oh my god, I'm dropping shit. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you ignore her. I feel like both of these are bad. I'm not just gonna ignore her. We should talk about her problems, even if it's angrier. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. No, I don't mean it though. Come on. 1981, Julia, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model or you flex like a He-Man. I think flexing is just as funny. <laughs> I flex. You look awesome. Oh, I guess, I guess it is high risk of fire with all these dead trees everywhere. What is this? Two forks. Eight miles to the fire lookout. Jeez. It's already sunset. Bro, we're not getting there till midnight. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. Brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Bip be ba fuck the, the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker, you scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is hard. What would I do? Alright, someone attacks me with a knife. But they kick my dog. I'm gonna beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. Cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. That sounds... Nicer, walking by the river. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Uh, she's not going to commute back and forth every day 2,000 miles? Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah, right. Convince her not to take the job. That's better than asking her to do that. This means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. Man, you should just go on with her. Julie is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Nah, we should talk to somebody about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decided to, to keep it a secret for now. Bro, this story's this story's sad. I don't like it. Whoa! I can't I can't show that. King Beef. What the hell? Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later she's go she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. 
She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home to Australia to visit her. In Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to keep care of her by yourself. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, man. I can't take care of her by myself. It's too much on me. And it's probably not healthy for Julia. Because she's not... Like, getting as much help as she deserves. So I'm gonna put her in the home. I slept the night here? Is that what just happened? I guess that's what the last thing was. Can I go back? I cannot. This game is so pretty. Look at the ray. That light beam. Oh, dear. Get a camera. Play Tom. Hi. Bye. Have fun. Your family agrees with your decision. Good. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. See? Good. Good man. Then every other day. Ah, oh, lesser man. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. So they decide to not see your old friends that much. They're bad friends. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist, you won't. You've always really liked Susan. Not that way, though. Months go by. Bucket dies. Come on. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. Seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. And now this is that job. And that's so much to unpack in like the first 10 minutes of a game. There she blows. My lookout tower. Cool place, nice digs. Let's get right into the action, baby. Look at that moon. It's a fantastic moon. That looks like a thumbnail to me. Just saying. Maybe it's better from up here. Oh, it is a little better from up here. That's the thumbnail. Got the other little lookout there. The warfare lookout. There's one on this side too, isn't there? Maybe not. Look how cool the mountains are though. They look like they're just painted. And surrounded by this 3D environment. Turn on the power. Knock, knock. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Ding dong. How do I? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's hello. It's Henry, right? Yeah. 
How do you know my name? Delilah. Hi, yeah, Delilah. That's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People Rude. take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, um, you're <laughs> probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but Whoa. in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times Good. out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. I did not get dumped, Good night. actually. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh! Firewatch! <laughs> Day one. Day one. Delilah's gonna be a lot of fun. She's our secondary protagonist. Can even call her our antagonist, maybe. We'll see. Lots of loading. The game. The, if you saw Tome, you know this game crashed when I tried to launch morning, it the first Henry. time. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, probably slept like a turd. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. <sighs> How does she see me? Stalker. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Maybe. Yeah. Jesus, I guess it's what... Six. Trek Alaska. 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a Maybe round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder. Osborne. 1914 by WB... Spider-Man coming out soon. Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi... What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, no. lady. Out your I won't. west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know which way is the... I... Are those fucking fireworks? Oh, compass. West. Oh, yeah, those are fireworks. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is what <sighs> The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a road to the do. shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. Great. It's actually that for all of them. I'm going to forget. Convenient. That's one word for it. Oop. Rock. I can't pick up the rock. And I can't open that. God damn it. All right, what am I taking with me? Let's see here. I'm not taking the thermos. I need the thermos. You know what I'm going to take? I'm going to take my backpack. I can't take my backpack. Oh, maybe I think I take it when I open the door. I'm taking the pine cone. Come on, Mr. Pinecone. Chris Pine. Hi, Delilah. I see you. Nah, we won't do that yet. How do I get down again? Right, not this way. Cool. Like I was saying, though, if you saw my tome playthrough, you know that 
I tried playing Firewatch before and it did not work out. But now it is working. Uh, it crashed again when I first opened the game, but it's working out, so cross our fingers and hope for the best, I guess. Where am I going? I can't read. I can't. Do I have to drop this? I have to drop that to read the map. I don't want to do that. I can't read shit. Okay, here we go. This is not west. Which way is west? Oh, it says the... Uh, what? Why is this map all messed up? West is down, you fucking idiot. Am I finding cast 306? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is west. <laughs> Look at me go. Okay, so I am heading the right way. Yeah. Okay. Lower map. Where's my pine cone? Give me back my pine cone. There you are. Thank you. All right, let's go. Bum ba dum ba 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 da. As long as we stay on the path, we should just be led to the right place. I think I go this way. Yep. <laughs> Me and my pine cone. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hello, are you 306? You are indeed. I found the supply box. Great. I gotta drop this. <laughs> I found the supply box. Great. Uh, one, two, three, four. Give me the goods. A note. Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up this. I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Ron and Dave. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. <sighs> He's completely nuts. New pine right? cone. Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. I ate a granola bar. And I got the rope. I got the rope. And new pine cone. Wait, do I have to take this? Hold on. Yeah. I don't take it. I just copy whatever it says. So what did that give me exactly? Give me my lookout and just like a couple paths, I guess. Okay. Continuing. Continuing west, so apologies for the yawn. It do be late at night. I'm going on a trip tomorrow. And have no videos to upload. Therefore, I'm recording this. Me a new pine cone, pine cone number two. On our way. Hopefully the right way. Just gonna check real quick. Sorry, Mr. Pinecone. Yeah. Okay. Yoink. Yoink. Where are they coming from? Over there. I smell the kids. We're gonna get them. Oh, I have to hook my... Uh. Uh. Go, Pinecone. Okay, hopefully that's good. I don't need to tell her everything I'm doing. That does not look secure at all. But whatever. 
Here we go. Down we go. Oh. Oh, fuck. I told you it wasn't safe. Delilah, I fell. I hurt myself. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like? Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? Yeah, my butt cheeks. Be careful for Christ's sake. Was that it or did I accidentally do something? I can't go down here, right? Right, because I need rope. Or better rope, I guess. Wow. I don't need to... I'm not sure where to look. I'll say that. I'm at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look. For wow. Pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Cool, you got it. Look at this. This could also be a thumbnail. Who knows? Except report meadows on the side. Stinky smelly. I, I'm not going to report meadow. Forget your meadow. There it goes. Okay. Wow. Coolio. All right, Miss Panko. A little campy fire going on, huh? What's this? Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, mm. does it? Ooh, a little... Irish single malt whiskey, you say? Just might save us some of that for later. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last Means they're nearby. Hikers filing a report about harassment. Those beer cans. Bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? I am fucking serious. Uh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. I have confiscated the fireworks. Where's my thing? Come on, Pangon. I hear their music. Uh-oh. Uh, Delilah. I don't know about this one. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Pantaloons. We're going on a panty raid. My god, someone's setting off fireworks outside. Uh-oh. Uh, yes? There's more. I'm not going to reply. The fuck are they doing? Yo! I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Oh shit. Sure is. Oh, Enjoy dealing with that. Take my pine cone. Quit the fireworks shit or else please go with the fireworks, okay? You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, alright? What the fuck? I mean, he wrote it. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? What the fuck's it? I took all your shit. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we want. And free from any peeping Tom. I said, My name's not even Tom, it's Henry. Hey 
that go okay? No. It's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. The fuck do I turn this shit off? Fuck your boombox. Take that. It seems like you guys have to get. I don't care. I don't care about these fucking kids. I'm going home. How do I get home? I think it's this way. Actually, I have no idea. Ah, find a way back. Find a way back. I think I have to go that way. Through Thunder Canyon. Fucking name. I can hit Cash 305 though. No way. Come on, Coney. Coney Island. What should I name the cone? Who knows? Yoink. They fucking vanished. They're I mermaids, bro. Prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort. When it yeah. comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Yeah. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? Where is this cash? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend oh, it's right here. It in utter loneliness. Uh, something like that? Now, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise. Ah, oh, look at the sky. Glad it worked. Purple. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. Go? I mean, oh. the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? No. Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for Yellowstone? 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone what should is be that? left to burn. Right there. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. Whoa, now we're, we're making it political. Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver. So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires were oh going to burn themselves. Oh my god, I'm walking on air right now. Were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch down. it. But we touch it every single day. But hey. I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco if the goddamn park can burn down again. 30 cents, that's it. That don't sound like much, Delilah. There, Delilah, you should be in New York City. 2,000 miles away. <laughs> like my wife. Ugh. Anyway. Bro, there's a sign literally right here that says no fireworks. All right, what, what, Ron and Ron and John, Ron and Dave, oh, getting up to? Got some not bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me get out of here for a while. Who's to say though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. Guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionales is Italian. Why would why would we need to know the difference of that? Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Uh, the Four State. University of Eastern Colorado? Oh, I, I really guess. I don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. You're a weird place. I mean, person. I mean. Right. What did the map say? Oh, I don't want to go to a peaty meadow. I want to go down Thunder Canyon. Something down there to Five Mile Creek. Cottonwood. Medicine Wheel. To thoroughfare, tra a trailhead, and a thoroughfare. Or thoroughfare, my gosh. I can't talk. Anyway, uh, back the way we came, pretty much. 
Jonesy. Is it Jonesy Lake or Jonesy? Jonesy. On the road again. I can't wait to be on the road again. Don't make me drop my pine cone. Coney Island. Chris Pine. Just come, Chris. This place is so nice. I'd like to go here. I, not alone, though. I think alone is pretty whack. I'd never go hiking alone. That's crazy. I have a bit of a confession to make. Great. <laughs> what? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Yeah, Sky. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, maybe I, just don't uh, do that again. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. You better. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Cool. Will do. Holy shit, that fucking scary. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad. Right I'm heading east. Lightning? North is where she is. We'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Bro, I don't want to. <sighs> I'm not going to say anything. I know how this game goes if you've never seen this game so i feel bad for you son got 99 problems but this game ain't one all right i don't think it actually rains right oh my god i can't count oh it sounds like it might though right, let's get this info scritchy scratch what do we got flashlight Yoink! No batteries. Oh! Yes, batteries. Cool flashlight. And I got a horn. There's a horn in here. It's a horn or an antler or whatever. It's a well, bad omen. Antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Whoa. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the forest service office first. Makes sense. Although Debbie says she was right like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving. And Oddly enough, I am. Someone would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Big time. I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. Who did I go caving with? My wife. I don't think so. I don't think it ever said we went caving. Oh my gosh. There's some guy <laughs> out here. Hello. Some guy? Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon and he was just being some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Yeah, Is he, he was creepy. Else? I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I Something someone should have told you about this area. What? What is it? Am I gonna die? Outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. No, that's hella creepy. Bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <gasps> get back here, sir. Park is closed today. Where the fuck he was up here. Uh, where the fuck do you go? Up here. I'm hot on your trail, bitch. Coming for you. Where are you, guy? I have no idea. This is a lot of climbing and hiking and shit. Would I ever do a job like this in real life? 
Probably, actually. Actually, probably not. I'd be scared shitless. If there was, like, a lot of people, then maybe I'd be better with it. I get paranoid too easy, though. I was in... Uh, the last time I was in a city, which was Pittsburgh. Trail close sign. Bro, it's not close to me. Goddamn. Tuck it out, bro. Holy shit. Bro, I thought we were falling backwards. Can't even lie to you. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I... I you. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. You. Ugh. <laughs> I hate you. Generator. I don't need to label all of my life to you. Delia. Delilah. With this. A baseball! Sorry, Chris. I got a baseball now. What if the man is up here? See, this is what I mean. This is why I wouldn't be able to do this. Last time I was in the city, it was Pittsburgh. And I went to Point, Point Park. The one with the big uh, waterfall. Oh, this is really nice, though. The one with the big waterfall. And... I was so paranoid. I, I thought this guy was, like, following us the whole time. But, like, it's a park and there's trails to, like, walk and stuff. So, I doubt it, but... Still free. What the fuck? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Uh, I hate the music. They stole my sheets. What the fuck? They stole your sheets? That's just yeah. Me. Yeah, it sucks. The place is trashed. <laughs> the place is trashed. Okay, what can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? No. Maybe the guy in the canyon. That's who I think. But I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. Actually, I know who did it. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. They're coming for you next. Uh, okay. In the morning, I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since. I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks, Delilah. I need you to feel safe out here. I don't. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. I don't feel safe. Okay. I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Also, make sure to like and subscribe so you know when the next episode comes out. Thank you, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!